Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. Looking to USDA's recent agricultural outlook, which projected planted acres of wheat here in the U.S. to be estimated at 45 million acres in 2020. That projection is the lowest number of planted acres on record. Wheat yields are projected to be lower at 48.2 bushels per acre compared to 51.7 last year. Total wheat production in 2020 is anticipated to be down as well at just 1.8 billion bushels. At 1 billion bushels, export projections from USDA for the 2020 crop hold constant to projections estimated for 2019, with the projected lower stocks to use ratio down 36% from 43% last year, comes an expected bump in price from $4.55 per bushel in 2019 to $4.90 per bushel in 2020, so still not great. But importantly, that season average wheat price is below the PLC support price of $5.50 per bushel. On now to some news where we see that on Tuesday, the National Association of Conservation Districts announced the release of a free first of its kind curriculum called It's a Guide to Conducting a Pollinator Conservation Field Day. Now this is available through download through the NACD's new Conservation Education Hub. The guide was developed through the support from the David Rockefeller Fund Pollinator Education Initiative Grant and the Pollinator Partnership. This new curriculum is designed to provide interactive learning experiences for grades K through 8, engaging them in habitat-focused pollinator-themed activities for the classroom and outdoors. Each activity has been correlated to education standards and provides a pathway to valuable partnerships with local soil and water conservation districts. For more, visit NACD.net, where you can also find other curriculum on pollinators. Don't go too far. We'll have more after this. Turning back today, looking to trade news, the United Kingdom officially published its objectives for upcoming trade negotiations with the United States. The announcement included an uncompromising stand on agriculture and food standards, two big sticking points that have slowed momentum for talks getting underway. It's reported that the UK won't compromise on its high environmental protection, animal welfare and food standards, along with the drug pricing provisions that are all central to negotiations. U.S. agriculture and trade officials had hoped the U.K. would loosen up some of their strictest requirements after leaving the European Union. The National Association of State Departments of Agriculture says it's all for high standards for food safety and animal welfare and that the U.S. already does these standards. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer says those two big sticking points, which are agriculture and health care, shouldn't stand in the way of reaching a deal here in 2020. And finally today, the Food Industry Association, along with the North American Meat Institute Foundation, have combined to produce their 15th annual in-depth study of meat and poultry from the consumer's perspective. The Power of Meat 2020 takes a deep dive into consumption trends, sales growth, and consumer demand. The study finds demand for meat is accelerating at over $50 billion worth of sales last year. 49% of respondents believe animal agriculture doesn't have a negative impact on the environment. However, the younger generation does believe it does have a negative impact, which means consumer education is vital for the future of the beef industry. Well, friends, that's all the time we have for today. Have a great day, everyone.